What's up, people? It's your boy. I'm Chris the Dom One, and I am back with another video. Uh, before we begin today's topic, I first like to throw out a disclaimer out there because I know there's a lot of stands, a lot of fans of Chris Carter and Terrell Owens, and I'm basically just reporting the full truth. Uh, I do not condone or uh, approve of how Chris Carter or Terrell Owens is responding to today's topic in NFL news. But with that being said, let's get into it, okay? Now, Terrell Owens announced that he decided that he will not be attending the, the Hall of Fame ceremonies, and he decided to celebrate at UT uh, Chattanooga, where it sort of all started when you're talking about uh, a professional football career, and he's going to celebrate with his family, friends, and etc. At that ceremony instead of attending the Hall of Fame ceremony. Now, the Hall of Fame ceremonies just issued a statement that uh, they're not going to allot any time for Terrell Owens. They're going to have his bus there, but they're going to focus on the players that are attending at the Hall of Fame ceremonies. Now, Chris Carter responded on his Talking Head show saying how... Uh, you know, Terrell Owens doesn't see the bigger picture. He's being very spiteful. He's being very petty. And which by the which which by the way, Chris Carter never mentioned how the Hall of Fame reacted by not even allow uh, allotting a time for Terrell Owens, at least showing a 90 second video. Uh and they're being kind of petty. They're being kind of uh, you know, being petty, being very messy, okay? Now, the reason why Chris Carter, I mean, the reason why Terrell Owens is so is being very spiteful and petty to the Hall of Fame is because the Hall of Fame, uh, when it was time to elect Terrell Owens, the, the board members of the Hall of Fame, which is press members, decided not to vote Terrell Owens in. They decided to be spiteful and petty and let him wait a year ended up being waiting two years and that got under Terrell Owens skin now I could see if there were a lot of other wide receivers that had better numbers than Terrell Owens and I could see if you didn't want to put Terrell Owens in not quick fast in a hurry because he doesn't have the accolades when you're talking about Super Bowl championships, Super Bowl wins. But the the reports were to a lot of these media members who had a vote, a say in the Hall of Fame game was uh to vote Terrell Owens in was he wasn't a very good teammate. He uh clashed with a lot of coaches and he didn't have great a great repertoire, a great reputation with the media. Not to mention the fact that Skip Bayless, when he was on uh, Cold Pizza, First Take, uh, even uh, uh, even Undisputed, would push out this narrative of calling Terrell Owens team obliterator. Now, every team Terrell Owens went to, they just crumbled and uh, they, they just crumbled because having Terrell Owens on 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 your team was a bad thing so you got this narrative pushed about Terrell Owens and this despite the fact you have Terrell Owens not you know having the best of best relationships with coaches and media members now building a relationship is a two-way street okay uh, you just can't always focus on, well, it's, it's that individual. It's he or she is the reason why this relationship isn't, uh, you know, isn't uh, a, a relationship. You know, a relationship, you have to meet somewhere in the middle. And a lot of Terrell Owens' relationships with media members and coaches and, uh, and players is they could never meet in the middle. Now... Terrell Owens did have some good repertoire, some good relationships with some media members, with some coaches, with some players. But a lot of these uh, uh, quote unquote individuals did not have the prestigious or the background personality like a 
a Bill Parcells, like a Skip Bayless. Uh, Stephen A. Smith was always in the corner of Terrell Owens, but the reputation of Stephen A. Smith uh, in in the social in, in the social media world as well as sports entertainment is well, Stephen A. Smith is a stand for Terrell Owens. Stephen A. Smith, uh, the reason why he gets all of these uh, these top notch interviews is because he has uh, he's friends with a lot of these uh, celebrities like a LeBron James, a Denzel Washington, a Jamie Fox. Uh, a Terrell Owens, um, you know, Kobe Bryant, things of that nature. He used to have a good relationship with LeBron James. We'll talk about that at another time and another day. But the point I'm making is uh, to have a relationship, you have to meet somewhere in the middle. And the reason, and there are a lot of reasons why uh, Terrell Owens didn't have great relationships with a lot of people. Now, you can't just blame it on the other individuals. You also have to blame it on Terrell Owens. So, um, Terrell Owens didn't have the best of best relationship. He didn't know how to network. And uh, it's, it's, it's politics. It's politicking, so to say, when you're talking about uh, the Hall of Fame ceremonies. Okay? If you have a great repertoire with the media, uh, with uh, the majority of your players and coaches, uh, and you have the accolades to support you, then... Uh, it, it's, it's, you're going to eventually make it into the Hall of Fame. But I think the Hall of Fame, Skip Bayless, and a lot of media members use the Hall of Fame, sir, the the acceptance of the Hall of Fame as punishment uh, for how they felt about Terrell Owens. It had nothing to do with Terrell Owens' performance. It really didn't have nothing to do with Terrell Owens' relationship with a lot of players because the majority of the players that played alongside Terrell Owens like Terrell Owens. Um, you know, yes, there were some coaches that did not like Terrell Owens as a player or even as an individual. It really didn't have nothing to do with Terrell Owens off the field. You know, Terrell Owens was never in any type of trouble uh, of any type of sort. And there's a lot of people in the Hall of Fame that have numerous criminal, have a uh, criminal records and criminal past and Yet, they're still in the Hall of Fame. Most notably, O.J. Simpson. Okay? So, um, you, you know, you, you the, the reason why T Terrell Owens took this stand against the Hall of Fame and being sort of petty towards the Hall of Fame is because the Hall of Fame, uh, the media members were petty at Terrell Owens because they didn't have a great repertoire of a relationship with Terrell Owens. It started there first. Now, Terrell Owens uh, deserves some uh, responsibility in this because he's uh, he too is being petty towards the Hall of Fame. Uh, I think Chris Carter and other media members like him, they seem to skip, they, they, they skim through the, the book and they skip certain chapters, okay? If you're going to tell it, you're going to have to tell it like it is, okay? But uh, I understand, uh, you know, I understand, well, I really don't understand why Terrell Owens and the Hall, the Hall of Fame, the powers that be in the Hall of Fame, can't just get in a room and discuss what's, uh, what's irking them. Uh, the Hall of Fame, what's really irking them about Terrell Owens, and Terrell Owens, what's really irking you about the Hall of Fame? Um, I, I think, you know, uh, even if they couldn't agree, they could at least agree to disagree and respectfully show a 90-second a, a highlight clip. Now, you know, Chris Carter said, well, if he's not going to attend, then they shouldn't do that. Okay, but what about the other... Uh, you know, players that were nominated in the Hall of Fame that are no longer here. We still show a 90 second, we still show enough respect for them to show a 90 second clip. And a lot of those players, uh, you know, did not have uh, the best relationships with media. Okay. 
Uh, now more than ever, when you got all these talking shows and they're kind of spinning the narrative about certain athletes, certain players, you know, people start gravitating to your opinion like a Skip Bayless. OK, and a, a lot of these media members had issues and had problems with Terrell Owens. Terrell Owens, to me, is a great wide receiver. He's, he's definitely in the top five. When you're talking about when you're comparing the best wide receivers of all time in the NFL. But uh, I understand sometimes Terrell Owens' behavior, his attitude is abrasive. And he can be very petty. He can be very stubborn. Okay. But you don't fight fire with fire. You don't be, you don't, uh, you know, react to someone who's being petty by you too being petty. Okay. Somebody has to take the high ground. And I think uh, now more than ever, the Hall of Fame, the media members, as well as Terrell Owens, uh, they're taking the low ground approach. But, you know, it is what it is. Guys, tell me what you think. Rate, comment, subscribe. It's your boy. I'm Kristen Don One, and I am out of here. Deuces.